10 Best Christmas Movies on Netflix Thanksgiving is over. The turkey's carcass is in a trash bag sitting on the curb in front of your house. Pumpkin pie is a distant memory. You're looking at your bank account and wondering how you're going to pay rent, get a bus slash train slash plane ticket home, ask your boss off for a week and still afford to buy people presents. Your family is coming in from out of town and commenting on your weight, or your useless degree. Grandpa slipped you a $50 bill, but you know you're going to have to spend it on grandma's slippers. And people are surprised that the holiday season is depressing for so many people? Stop it, suck it up. You need an injection of holiday spirit. Grab some eggnog and check out these 20 Christmas movies streaming on Netflix that don't suck. Happy Christmas... In 2014, Director Joe Swanberg, Stars Anna Kendrick, Melanie Linsky, Joe Swanberg, Mark Webber, Lena Dunham. Lately, Joe Swanberg's movies have felt like coming home. Similar to his previous effort, Drinking Buddies, Happy Christmas is an ensemble dramedy that drops you into situations that feel all too familiar, whether you're ready or not. The film follows Jeff and Kelly, Joe Swanberg and Melanie Linsky, a young couple struggling to raise their toddler and tending to their demanding creative careers, only to have yet another thing to crash their home, Jeff's basket case sister Jenny. Anna Kendrick. Irresponsible and unpredictable, Jenny inadvertently forces Jeff and Kelly to reconfigure their lives, while they force Jenny to get her act together. Entirely improvised, save for a plot outline, the film feels authentic because everything about it is, down to a cast that truly seems to enjoy bouncing penis euphemisms off each other. It's honest and raw and engaging because of that. Suffice it to say, it's one of the few movies this year that genuinely isn't bullshitting you. Love Actually, in 2003. Director, Richard Curtis. Stars, Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson, Colin Firth, Liam Neeson, Laura Linney, Alan Rickman, Kira Knightley, Rowan Atkinson, Martine McCutcheon, Bill Nye. Love actually may be the greatest holiday sap fest ever, in the best way. You have multiple stories of love, ten, to be exact, between parents and children, friends, family, and of course, attractive people who want to have sex with each other. It's impossible to get bored with so many stories bouncing around, all of which tie together blissfully at a Christmas concert. All of the UK's favorites make appearances, Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson, Mr. Ben. The flick is so charming that it's gone on to inspire awful American copycats like Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. That's how you know it's real. While you were sleeping, comma, dot, 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 in 1995. Director, dot, 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 John Turtletaub. Stars. Sandra Bullock. Bill Pullman, Peter Gallagher. The 90s was a great time for rom-coms, and it also was a great time for Sandra Bullock. Right after starring alongside Keanu Reeves in 1994's hit action flick, Speed, Bullock did a 180 by starring in While You Were Sleeping. Here she plays a train conductor who rescues a man whom she admired from afar after a mugger throws him on the train tracks. She goes with him to the hospital, where he settles into a coma, and accidentally gets confused for his fiancée, but she doesn't set things straight since she's into the guy. While you were sleeping plays out as she keeps up the ruse and actually ends up falling in love with the comatose guy's brother. The lesson here, you snooze, you lose. White Christmas. In 1954. Director. Michael Curtis. Stars. Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, Vera Ellen. Singing, dancing, love, and the holidays, 
White Christmas is easily the best holiday movie streaming on Netflix this season. The 1954 musical is loved by all ages, and is sure to settle down the bickering about what to put on TV for your grandparents during the annual visit. National treasure Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye play war buddies who fall for two sisters and help out their old commanding officer to save his resort. Get out the mistletoe there's gonna be some chaste romancing. Scrooge Comedot. In 1988 Director Richard Donner Stars Bill Murray, Karen Allen, Bob Cat Golt, Alpha Woodard, John Forsyth, Carol Kane, Robert Mitchum. We don't know what the studio marketing folks were thinking when they convinced themselves that in order to properly promote Scrooge, tagline, Bill Murray is back among the ghosts. Only this time, it's three against one, they needed to reference the success of Ghostbusters, which had been in theaters four years earlier. Because if you turn the movie off just as Annie Lennox and Al Green start singing Put a Little Love in Your Heart, there's enough Bill Murray gold in here to let the movie stand completely on its own, even if some of the references are a little dated. Serendipity comma dot 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 in 2001 Director Peter Chalsom Stars Kate Beckinsale, John Cusack, Molly Shannon, Bridget Moynihan Eugene Levy. Bloomingdale's During Christmas Time is how this movie jets you off into the romantic world of New York City. Jonathan and Sarah respectively find the perfect pair of gloves to give their significant others. Right on cue, in true rom-com fashion, they reach for the gloves at the same time. From politely arguing about who gets the gift, they end up enjoying the now classic frozen hot chocolate at Serendipity 3. That's when we realize, Jonathan is more love at first sight while Sarah is a firm believer of signs and destiny. They continue exploring the city, skate in Central Park, run around in the Waldorf Astoria and eventually part ways. The Ref Comma Dot Dot in 1994 Director Ted Dem Stars Kevin Spacey, Judy Davis, Dennis Leary, J.K. Simmons, Christine Baranski. The movie is all about the Christmas spirit, but that spirit waddles in only after a whole lot of fighting, kidnapping and laughter. But guess what? Amidst the corny, kind of dark humor, the three actors deliver excellent performances which becomes the strongest point of the movie. Lloyd and Caroline Chasser play a couple in marriage counseling and on the brink of divorce. Everyone, including their son, is fed up of their constant bickering. Even Gus, who kidnaps them in their own home after running from a crime scene, is annoyed. Soon, family starts pouring in and lies are told in order to avoid being caught. A whole lot of chaos ensues. The Ref is a surprising comedy that slow burns into reminding you just exactly how holiday-themed it is. I Am Santa Claus Director Morgan Spurlock Starring Mick Foley and four guys who dress up as Santa each Christmas Mall Santas are a hallmark of the season. Benevolent, bearded liars who trick children into believing they are the real deal to intensify the magic of Christmas. But during the other months of the year, they sell real estate, make mean barbecue ribs and tend to the buffet at sex clubs. This documentary follows the stranger also pictured in your childhood holiday photos, including one gay Santa that made waves among less accepting sects of Christians. Also, to show the rigors of the red suit, WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley grows out his hair and bleaches it snowy white to see what it's like to be the anonymous face of the most famous man in the world. Miracle on 34th Street Director John Hughes Starring Richard Attenborough, Mara Wilson, Elizabeth Perkins In this remake of a classic, the literal Cree Kringle gets recruited to replace a boozy mall Santa at a New York department store. 
but when that slighted imposter frames Kringle for a crime he didn't commit, it's up to the store's manager, her precocious, skeptical daughter, Susan, and her lawyer boyfriend to prove that not only Santa exists, but that the accused is that man. In a private conversation, Susan tells Kringle that she'll believe in him if he grants her three Christmas wishes, for a father, a new house and a baby brother. When Susan frees him with a sneaky bit of legal logic, Kringle shows her that he's granted her wishes by officiating her mother's marriage to the BF, guiding them to the perfect house and somehow, probably don't think about it too much, getting her mother pregnant with a new sibling. Holidays Director Scott Stewart Starring Seth Green, Claire Grant In this horror anthology, the Christmas episode stars a father, Seth Green, who was beaten by a rival dad to the final virtual reality headset that he'd like to give his boy. When that shopper drops dead in the parking lot, the timid man makes a difficult choice to impress his kid and his way out of his league wife. The headset promises to immerse the wearer in their most sought-after fantasies. And when Seth puts it on, he sees a little BDSM. But then things get far more disturbing as he gets the pop of two dying men, only one of which he is responsible for. Bull for.